Hi, this is Eslin. Welcome back, fishies. Today, I thought I, I would do some apples. Um, the other day, I did some fluff, the strawberry and the peach. But today, I thought I would make like maybe like a crustless apple pie parfait kind of like. So, let's get started. Turning on the fire here. And this is about four tablespoons of butter. But what I'm going to do is I'm only going to um, put in two. I'm going to start with two. And I can always add more. Okay, well, two tablespoons of butter. Put that back there. Okay, now, I chopped up the apples. Okay, I chopped up the apples, and I marinated them. Well, I put uh, lemon juice over them so they wouldn't turn brown after I chopped them up. <clears throat> okay, now, in this bowl, I have maybe about a fourth a teaspoon of cardamom, or maybe a little fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon, and also nutmeg, and a little bit of brown sugar. And then I have some McCormick's vanilla. Now, we're trying to put a couple drops in there. Not too much, like I said. You can always add more, but when you put too much in, sometimes you can't fix it. Okay, turn this down a little bit here. Butter is melting. <clears throat> the butter is melting, so I'm going to put my apples in. Get my apples, get the apples in. Now, I'm using a sweet apple. I'm not using a tart apple. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the sweet apple. Sit this over here. Sink. Okay. So like as, as of right now, I kind of don't need any more butter. Can you look at that. Yep. Kind of right now, I don't need any more butter. But I am gonna add my nutmeg, my cardamom, my brown sugar. Yep. I'm gonna add that. Stir it, mix it all in. Let this start to dissolve. Um, it's like the um, brown sugar is going to caramelize. And then the nutmeg and the cardamoms for, and the cinnamon, that's for flavor. Yep, I had these apples and I didn't want them to go bad. Plus I had that extra fluff. And I didn't want that to go bad either. I'm just making sure everything is well coated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the top, but I'm going to add some more butter. I'm going to add those two other tablespoons of butter to that. So that will caramelize. Now, see how that's caramelizing in there? Making like a little caramel sauce. Can you see that? Yeah, it says caramelizing. So I'll add the butter in there. Let it caramelize some more. And I'm going to put the top on for a few minutes. I'm just going to put the top, put it on for a few minutes. And I'm going to sit these over here at the top. Now, remember, put the top, I have the little steam hole. So I'm going to put it toward the back. So when I open it, steam away. You don't want to steam in your face. Now, while that's cooking, what I'm going to do here is I have like the little dessert dish, the ice cream sundae dish, but I'm going to fill it. Um, I have some... I uh, ground up some spice cookies left over from Christmas. They're the, they're really good. They're spice cookies. So I'm going to put them in a the bottom like the graham cracker crust. But I'm trying to stay away from the uh, breads and stuff. So I'm going to take this, this spoon here, and I'm going to spoon, spoon in these cookie crumbs in the bottom. Make like a little crust. No, you see how I got that in there like that? That's almost like a graham cracker crust. So we're just trying to soften the apples up. We're just trying to soften these apples up. So here, get them all coated back. You guys see that? Oh, man. smell of vision Oh, oh, that smells so delicious. So delicious. I said we're just trying to soften these apples up. We don't want to make them all the way soft. We want to still have a little bit of texture to them, a little bit of bite. But we don't want them to be crunchy. Yep, just a little bit of bite to them. And I'm just going to test this little one here. Now see, this one's almost ready. Like I said, it doesn't take very long. 
we're just gonna soften them up. Yeah, just a few more minutes. Now, like I said, I used a sweet apple. I think this is a gala apple. You can also use a tart apple. Tart apples really make good pies. But I kind of tend to like the sweeter apples when I'm eating an apple. But I have had the tart ones. The Granny Smiths make really good pie. They have a lot of liquid in them, a lot of more um, water. And I'm telling you, these is almost ready. I can, I can tell. Now, you know what I don't eat? I'm going to put in my trusty food saver. This is the name brand food saver. This is no sponsors. It's just me loving my food saver. And like I was saying with these spices here, now they vary sometimes. Now, this one's McCormick, which McCormick is good. Don't get me wrong. I like McCormick. Um, then I have some um, some Spice Island here. Spice Island is also good. What it was was I had um ran out of one, but I know each of these brands are good. I, I'll, I'll go back and forth. I'll toggle between these two brands. If I can't find one, I'll get the other. Um, I like these two brands. Now, the other ones, I don't know about them, but I like these two. Now, I'm listening to this, and they, they're telling me that they're about done. So, I'm going to turn this down, steam away. I'll set this here. I have my spoon. Stir it up. And I think the apples might be soft enough. Let's see. Yeah, I think they're soft enough. That I do. I really do. Like I said, I didn't want them all the way done. I didn't want the apples um, mushy. I didn't want them all the way done. I just wanted them nice and coated. And they still have a little, a little blunt, a little bite to them. See? Look at that. Smell a vision. Mm, you can smell that cinnamon and cardamom and nutmeg. Mm, and that brown butter also smells delicious. Gonna let this cool. Just a little second here. Let it cool for a minute. I'm going to leave the top off. So that way it'll cool off just a little bit faster for me. So I can plate it. If I plate it now like that, my, um, my fluff will melt. Just two seconds to rinse my spoon off. Here's my spoon. Okay, now, while this is cooling, I'm just going to take some of my fluff that I had sitting here. You notice I had it away from the stove. I'm just going to take maybe a scoop of the fluff, maybe a scoop or two, put it in there. See, I'm going to layer it. See, on the bottom, I have the graham crackers, and up here, I have the fluff. I've let this cool for a few minutes. It's still a little warm. It's still a little warm, but it still should be okay. So I'm going to put a spoon. Spoon of the apples on top of my fluff. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. A couple more apples on there. Let's get a little bit of the sauce drizzle on the top. Okay, now I'm going to put that back. Doesn't that look good? But I'm not done yet. I'm going to put a little more fluff on top. Just hold on a second. One more spoon of fluff. Put right on top. Then I'm going to take, set this aside over here. And I left a little bit of the, um, Spice cookies ground up, so I'm going to take and sprinkle a little bit on top for a little garnish to try to make it a little bit better, add a little more texture to the top. Now, these crunched up cookies will add texture to the top, make it crunchy. Okay, now, how's that look? Does, does that look good? Does that look delicious? Now, we're going to give it the big taste test. See how it is. Crush your fingers. Okay, we're going to... That's a piece of apple, but that's okay. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Mmm. This is so delicious. This tastes just like apple pie. 
It tastes like apple pie a la mode. Wonders never cease. I'm going to make this again. This is just good. This is delicious. This is simply delicious. Mm. It tastes like apple pie a la mode. Like what you see? Thumbs up. Would you like more? Hit the dinner bell. You can leave comments. We can talk about it. Something you might want to suggest. You might want me to cook. Something you might want to do. I'm not saying I'll do everything. We'll give it a try. You know, subscribing is free. It's always nice to share. I want everybody to stay safe and positive. And we'll see you next time.